It's another unboxing video from Throat Punch Games. A new idea every day. And today we're going to go over Ortus Regni by John Sudbury Games. Um, if you were at Gen Con in 2014, everyone got a bag with this picture on it. And it was pretty cool. And they were doing demos of it. So, Ortus Regni is the birth of the kingdom. It's a two to six player card game. Um, we have the base set here, which is Mammoth for a card game, as well as the expansion, which will get us up to four players. So let's go through these boxes and see what's inside of them. All right, keeping this not, not cutting anything open. There we go. Let's see what's in this giant box. It looks really pretty. A lot of medieval artwork on it. There we go. This giant thick cardboard makes me happy. We have a nice little picture here. It's very well separated. And then we've got the actual full color print right here. That is mammoth for a rules book. But I see lots of pictures, and pictures and space always make me happy when you can explain what's in here. Um, one of the most interesting things about this game is they made a very artistic uh, choice during creation. Yeah. All the cards have pictures that indicate what they mean. So you'll learn, you'll learn what the cards mean quickly, but you don't have any words to guide you. We have a quick setup guide to help get you playing. All right, nice spacer. And then we've got a bunch of mammoth stuff in here. That's a lot of cool stuff. Um, this is really neat. This is what the face cards look like, and it's printed on cloth. So they went all out on the theme of this game. Instead of just, here's a, a piece of paper that shows what's going on, we have two of these. So each side can actually look at what the cards do and um, um, it just looks really cool. So we can bust into some of the Earl cards here. Be gentle so we don't cut any cards. And this is what I was talking about. None of these cards have any words. They all look like medieval pictures and they look they're beautiful but this isn't a game you can just pick up and read the words like magic they're really well done honestly they're beautiful got land pictures knights monks the king the keep the king they're just beautiful pictures. Oh, knights. Beautiful, well done stuff. A little spread of that. Tokens. Nice wood tokens. That makes me pretty happy. We've got two different colors here. And some Viking chips, which are the white and black ones mixed in. And again, they're not skimping on anything in this giant box. Got a leather pouch here, a little cinch, so that's awesome. A little timer. More cards. These are gonna be pretty much the exact same as the other ones, because this is for the other Earl. So this is the red back, and this is the blue bag. So we have a two-player game. So that looks really nice. And again, they didn't skip anything. They have card holders in here. And this is carved wood with wood burnt in Celtic knots. That's really impressive. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of different card games and sometimes they'll just go with cheap plastic inserts, which isn't bad, but that right there, you've put some effort into this. More cards. These are um, different player card decks here. Try not to skip, cut any cards. 
There we go. So, we have knights and jousting cards here. The artwork on the other side, we've got a nice deck of cards here for battle. Here are the jousting cards. So this whole game is basically two players vying to become kings of this kingdom. And it can happen across generations. You can actually cr um, make your, your uh, kid a prince. So we've got jousting tournament cards and the different outcomes of jousts. So again, really beautiful artwork here with a really stylized choice of um, how to indicate everything. We have Viking cards. So the Viking invaders can come by. And here's their different cards, how many show up. There we go. All right. So in this one, we have different kind of battle cards. You know, for when we have fights between the players. And the king card, when you hopefully to win. All right. So that's in this first box. That's a, that's a lot of stuff in a card game. We also have the expansion to add two more players. So let's crack this one open right away and see what they give me in here. A lot of it's going to be the same, but again, this is kind of like looking at artwork more than just a card game. So, in this one, again, nice and thick. I like that. It's a little hard coming off. There we go. You don't need all the pieces like we had before, but set this up to be pretty. There we go. Again, we have another one of these little fancy wrappers to keep everything nice in here. Cardboard to hold everything in place during transit. And now we have different color ones. Now we have green and yellow. It's a little bit of Packer colors from Wisconsin. More for the battle deck. And now we have, of course, just like before, we have the green and the yellow decks. And again, with kind of the most impressive thing here, these, I like these wood cut, wood burned um, little card holders, and that's really impressive. And it comes with two of them because we have two new players. So this is a lot of stuff to uh, start off with. But they have kind of a cool way to train. They have these, this little training deck the, uh, the, for the red and blue earls. So this is just, it's a taste of the game, kind of like a demo deck for Magic. But you get to learn how to play with the real cards, and it has a little bit more on here. It actually has the words, which is really nice for when, you know, you're just learning. It's got kind of the same artwork. There we go. So you have the two different colors. Let's crack open one of these decks and look inside. So, it's not as much of the game, but it gives out everything. And also see, this one has the words on it. So it's kind of a simple way to learn. And every card in your deck is a tower. You can play it as a tower. But then it has the same artwork and it explains what all these different cards do. So two players can sit down, play the game, and learn off this simple little deck. You know, it's not as scary as all of this. This is beautiful, but can be intimidating to newer players. I can't wait to get into this one. I've run some fun stuff. They've got an online way you can play. A ton of great videos to teach. It looks great. Um, look for my review coming up very soon on Throat Punch Games. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Throat Punch G. 
and uh, thanks for coming out.